All right, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to be showing you a new mate in the mechanical mates. It's called the cam mate. Okay, so I got this example in front of you. And I'll go ahead and start by doing creating a different mate, and I'll show you why I need the cam mate. Okay, so this exercise is called cam mate, and it is in your exercise 8 files folder, so you can open it up and follow along. Now, all these exercises are already done after the mate, so you can go ahead and click on the mate and see how they're created after the fact. All right, so I got this example in front of you. I got this block that I created using a spline. As you can see, this is one full surface all the way around. And this block that I've created using lines and fillets. Okay, you can see there's a lot of separate entities. Now, I created a bunch of different mates over here already just to make sure that this only spins around. Okay, they both spin around. And this one only can go up and down. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to be able to mate this cylinder to this surface so that when I rotate the surface, the cylinder stays around the entire thing. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I do it to a spline created uh, sketch. Okay, so I'm going to click on mate. I'm going to click on my cylinder. Make sure you have tangent selected and then click on this surface. As you can see, my your part goes down and is now tangent to this surface. Let me put this in the front view so you can see it a little bit better. Now, when I take this part and I rotate it around, my cylinder, my bottom cylinder, you can see that the top part stays tangent to it the entire time. Okay? Let's go ahead and see what happens when I do the same thing over here. If I select my cylinder, make sure you have tangent selected, and select it over here, click on OK. I'm going to move this to the front view, and then when I rotate it left and right, look what happens. It doesn't make sense, it's just going up and down. Well, that's not exactly what I want. I want to make sure that this goes all the way around the, my part. But that doesn't happen because of these lines. So when I selected this surface, it only selected it. So when I move this part, it only goes to, to the end of that surface. And then crazy stuff happens like it goes up right now. Okay, and same thing over here. It just goes up to this surface and then it starts going up that line. Well, I wanted to do the same thing over here. But see, this is where cam, cam mate comes in handy. It's whenever you create a sketch that is separated entities. So if you don't create a sketch using a spline, that's when you need to use the cam mate. So let's go ahead and delete that last mate over here that we've created, which was the tangent mate. And then let's go ahead and click on mate again. Go down under mechanical mates. Open that up. Scroll up until you see the cam. Click on cam. And then scroll up to see the options for the selections. Now, if you have a lot of entities like I do over here, one nice thing you can do is right click on one of the surfaces and come down here and click on select tangency. SolidWorks will go ahead and select all the surfaces over here that are tangent and there's actually 16 of them. Okay, so you can see how long it would have taken me to select every single one of them separately. And then after you're done, click on cam follower and then select your cam follower. Click on OK to accept it. Okay, so now it says one or more cam entities have a radius less than that of the follower. That might result in an error while dragging the component. Let's click on OK. Now, one of the reasons that might have happened already because I already had the mate and this surface was actually already selected on that surface. Let me go ahead and click on cancel, come down and my cam mate, delete it, and then move my camshaft a little bit up. Let's go ahead and redo that real quick. So a lot of times whenever you already made it something and then you create a separate mate, uh, after you delete it, those mates are still attached and sometimes they can affect it. So let's go ahead and go down here again to mechanical mate, cam, go back up. I'm going to select this tangency, cam, and select it. And as you can see, it goes right to it and click on OK. Now go ahead and click on OK over here anyways. And let's go ahead and click on OK to accept it. And I'm going to click on my front view, come down, and then rotate it. And as you can see, now it is going as we wish. Now, the reason you got that error is because of this radius right here. And usually the cam follower has to have a radius that is smaller than all the other radiuses. But because we have this radius right here, which is smaller than this radius right here, sometimes you'll get that error, but it will still work. Okay. Now, if it, this is a lot smaller, sometimes you'll see, you know, right in the edge, if you zoom into it, you'll see like a little error. You know, it doesn't want to hop or it hops too fast and you'll think it's some kind of error, but it's not. So it still works as you can see, but 
SOLIDWORKS will always give you a warning about that. As you can see, I rotated it, and now I'm rotating this just like I was rotating this section right here. Okay, so that's how you use the cam made feature in SOLIDWORKS.